this is Shelly. Today I'm going to show you how to make homemade hairspray. Now I have to start out to, by telling you that if you're like a blonde or want to be a blonde like me, you want to use lemon juice. If you are a brunette, then you want to use uh, orange juice. And I use pure lemon juice that I put a lemon through my juicer to get three ounces. Um, or, you know, or you could buy store brand, but I always feel that fresh is best. <laughs> so, uh, what I did is I put two cups of uh, water in this uh, little saucepan and I brought it to a boil. Now I'm going to put in my lemon juice and I'm going to um, kind of stir it occasionally until it turns into about one cup. It's really simple, really quick. Just kind of let it boil a little bit. It holds pretty good and it's healthy for your hair, that's what's funny. And like if you have a little bit of grain going on, like me, um, it totally eliminates it, it, it kind of hides it. I don't have my little gray, sh gray spots anymore and sh gray pieces of the hair. Uh, I don't know what it does with total gray hair because I don't have that problem yet, but woo! guess you want to watch it a little bit. But what I love is, you know, I had to go to the salon and get my hair dyed to get my little gray out of my hair. But now with my hairspray, um, it doesn't just work as hairspray and hold my hair and be healthy for my hair instead of drying my hair out and be bad for my hair. It actually <laughs> dyes my hair <laughs> and it turns, it keeps it kind of light and highlighted and, and um, you can't see the gray. It kind of just blend blends it all in and it looks the same color as you can see I don't have any gray but I, I do you just can't see it every time it starts to kind of start climbing to the top to boil boil over take it off the pan or off the, the fire and stir it I love this uh, hairspray. All those hairsprays out there would break my face out if I didn't wash it out and I laid down or something. Uh, this hairspray is awesome. It holds pretty good. And it doesn't make your hair all crunchy. I hate it when my hair gets crunchy from gels and hairsprays. But I love it. I have the added benefit of um, naturally dyeing my hair and um, nice, healthy hairspray. Doesn't break my face out. It's almost done. You just want it, your goal is just you want it to boil for a little, a little bit, a few minutes. Nothing major. I'd say, you know, with it climbing to the top like this, maybe four times and then take it off the heat. Yeah, it's pretty much done. It just looks like um, chicken noodle, basically. <laughs> Soup. You know it's hot. Normally you let this cool down, and then you add the other ingredients. But because I'm doing a video, I'm not going to do that. But I am going to have a bowl. It's probably not going to be. Good. Okay. Got 
me a bowl that can handle the heat. I'm going to throw it in there. Nice and hot. As you can see, if I can get it to work. It's in there. Now, I'm going to get witch hazel, just plain witch hazel. And I'm going to pour in one fourth cup. And I'm going to stir. I don't know if you can see. That's pretty much all you do. Now, I, I do want to add in essential oils. I'm big on essential oils because I want it to smell pretty. And I got my lavender with me today. I'm going to put like eight drops in. And then my hairspray will smell pretty. See, all these ingredients are good for your hair. The only thing is lemon juice will lighten your hair, so you want to make sure you use some um, orange juice instead. And I would always use pure, not the store-bought, because you don't know, unless you can buy store-bought pure, you don't know what other chemicals are in there. And that's what you want to do is stay away from what you don't know you're putting on your hair in your system. But really, that's, that's all we do. I'm going to put in my... Actually, I got grapefruit. I'm going to put in my grapefruit essential oil. I'm going to put in about eight drops. It's going to smell like grapefruit. I think that smells better than lemon anyway. This is all you do. And then when it cools down, I'm going to pour it in uh, my hairspray container, my um, sprayer. And then, of course, I'm going to have some left over, so uh, it looks more than a looks more than a cup. But that's okay. Um, I put rest in another container and I just keep the other container in the fridge so uh, it doesn't go bad. Like with this you wanna, it's okay being out on the shelf but you wanna you wanna destroy it, you know, throw it away in a couple of weeks because it does have lemon juice or orange juice in it and it will go bad. Um, I always keep my backup in the fridge so it doesn't go bad and I can use that for the next two weeks. So I only do it for, you know, do this batch, you know, once a month. Um, but thank you for watching. This is Shelly with Healthy and Natural Living, and have a great day.